Hey, welcome back to Snap Bolt Games. My name is Max, and I'm here for another Popper League. And I'm going to be playing Red Green Ponza today. But right before I get to the deck tech and the games, let me just say my channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go check it out. A lot of great Popper content on there and some other content as well. Play a bunch of different formats, but mostly been playing Popper recently. So go check it out if you're interested in that. You can also subscribe. There's a button in the bottom right with my dog on it. Click on that to subscribe. I'd appreciate it. You can also like this video. Now let's just get right into the deck. 20 lands. This is just red green Ponza. Playing the, basically the same as Jun Ponza. I just recorded a video with that deck. But we're not playing the black for removal spells. We're just playing straight red green. Um, 20 lands, like I said, you have better mana. You're playing triple Highland Forest, triple Mountain. And it looks like it's not that many red sources. But you also have Sprawl, Bonders Ornament, and Munvoli Asimov's Confined Red Sources. So your mana is actually pretty good in this deck. Then you have the same 12 Accelerators, 4 Arbor, 4 Utopia Sprawl, 4 Wild Growth. And then I'm playing 8 Land Destruction Spells. Generally, um, this red-green version, people have only been playing Asimov's and not playing Thermal Curse at all. But they seem to go well together. Um, like, if I wasn't going to play, let's say, Thermokarst, I also probably would just not play Asimov's and just be red-green mid-range. I also thought about building the deck like that, but having the land destruction is nice. Um, so I'm trying it with all eight in the main. It seems good in the mirror, which is really popular these days, too. So hopefully that'll be good. Of course, the Quad Bonder Tournament. This is, like, the best card in the deck. This card's insane. Quad Packmate, which is a new card from Kaldheim, and I think this card is actually really strong, so I'm excited to jam it, see how it goes. And then, of course, the eight Cascade spells, Dino and Boarding Party. And uh, in the sideboard, we have Trip Pyroblast, Double Ancient Grudge, Triple Cannonade, and I'm trying out a couple Commodores. This is an interesting way to take the Monarch. A lot of times people run like a couple ways to take the Monarch in the main, but my list is a little different in the fact that I have Thermokarst, so I'm not running the Monarch cards in the main. We'll run it in the sideboard when they don't have like a bunch of ways to take it from us. And then uh, a couple Calming Verse. This card's interesting. It's destroy all enchantments you don't control. And then if you control an untapped land, destroy all enchantments you control. But you obviously just tap out and then blow up all their enchantments. So it's pretty strong against something like Boggles or Mono White Auras um, or like whatever else you might want it. But... You can't really blow up your own uh, enchantments, so that's why you have to play Calming Verse rather than something like Tranquility. And being 4 mana isn't that relevant because you have so much acceleration, you can often get to 4 mana to play it. And then just triple weather for burn. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's just go right into round 1 and see if we can play some land destruction spells. I'll see you there. Alright, welcome to round 1. We're on the play. And this is not a keep. You can definitely not keep this hand. We have no red source for bolt, a 7 drop and a 6 drop in triple forest. So that's an easy mull. And this is an easy keep. We have a turn 2 bonders ornament. And we can potentially turn 2 bolt if we want. It's pretty cool. Um, let's keep this. I could also put back bolt. They mulligan to 6. I think putting back Bolt might be better than putting back, like, Boarding Party. I don't think I can put back... I don't really want to put back a land. It seems greedy. Bolt might be necessary, but I think it's the best thing to put back, honestly. Cheers. I didn't really want to put back Highland Forest. I suppose I could have, but if this were, were to die then I definitely would have wanted all my lands. Wow, this is actually a good draw as well. So, I can play Highland Forest, or no, I can't. Because if I play Highland Forest, then I don't have enough mana, but I can go Forest, Wild Growth, and then Bonder Tournament. And then next turn I can Boarding Party if this doesn't die. There's no way for me to Highland Forest, right? Because if I Highland Forest and then Wild Growth, I don't have enough mana, because then I'll only have two mana left. So I gotta go Forest, Wild Growth, and then make four mana, Bonders Ornament, pass. <laughs> 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 
the truck outside with its reverse yeah. beeper on, and of course, dog goes off. Doesn't yeah. he doesn't like that? Yeah. All right. Ornament turn two ornament on the play solid. If our arboreal survives, we have boarding party next turn. I'm just going to jam it. There's no reason to wait. Do I play around four spike? I think actually I do. I don't think I need to get four Highland Forest down. And I, I, from blue black, they play four spike a fair amount of the time. So let's just boarding party play around four spike. Right, Arbor Elf's not great, but Spell Stutter, the Arbor, okay. Really wanted to hit like a pack mate or something there. So if they go like ninja into snuff out, I could be in trouble, but I can start drawing cards with this. Alright, so they are gonna ninja, but do they have snuff out? I mean I have a 6-3. And fairy seer, okay. So they can chump, or they can just take six more. We don't have anything going on yet. Let's draw. Thermocarst. Okay, that's really good actually. I think I'll start by attacking with this and then I'll try to thermocarst the ice tunnel. I, I'm not going to stay back to try to block Ninja. I want to keep putting pressure on and shorten this game. Thermocarst that. Pass. We have a lot of good draws and more boarding parties, dinos. Okay, Augur. So we're just definitely up against Blue Black Fae. They missed on Augur. They can hit for three and draw. They don't have a black source. They could um, get one with Ash Barons here. They're at eight though, so they're gonna have to block here. Okay, Pac Mate's a good draw. So let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think I need to Pac Mate first. I think I'll just start by just attacking with boarding party. They'll probably chump, and then I'll pack mate. Yeah, they block. Makes sense. They do have a spell stutter sprite in hand that we know about. No reason to foretell. Just cast it. Hmm, that's not great. So I'm still going to play Forest because then I can draw a card with Bonders Ornament. Let's see. I don't think there's any reason to draw now either. I think I'll just play land, pass, and then draw a card with Bonders Ornament end of turn. This is looking good. No black mana from the opponent either. And another Auger is definitely beatable. They put preordained, so they'll just cast that. Probably looking for black mana. So we still know about Spell Thutter Sprite. They went bottom, bottom. Yeah, I wonder if they have cast downs or snuff outs or anything in their hand. Let's draw a card. Bonders run it just insane. Draw. Okay, Dino. That's really, really good. So I'm supposed to Dino pre-combat in case I hit another boarding party. So let's just sprawl here, name red, three. Am I supposed to untap it? Or am I supposed to tap my Bonders Ornament? I think I'm supposed to tap Bonders Ornament. Dino into Pac-Mate. It's a lot of value. Yeah, that'll do it. Nice. So let's bring in the Pyroblasts. Don't think I want Commodore, just because they're blue-black fairies. If they were blue-black Delver, I'd consider it. I think I also go like this. And I like this game plan of siding out Arbor Elf and bringing in a bunch of cannonades against Fey. I really like it. I think I'm gonna go for it. Thermokarst and Minvili Asimov aren't great. Interesting, interesting. I want all the lightning bolts for sure. 
I could just leave in the Arbor Elves and them and have the Cannonades, but I guess these are kind of hard for them to kill. I could just side out like Thermokarsts and some Acid Moss, but I don't hate having these. They're not going to have like infinite black sources, so putting pressure on that seems good. I could just do this even so. Just play like a more controlling game. I like it. I mean, bringing in Triple Candidate, it is good to side out the Arbor Elves. I know a lot of people probably don't like this plan, but um, I actually like it. Then we just morph into this kind of green-red control deck. With We're good against counter spells with these Cascaders. We're definitely clunky now, but we have Pyroblast, Bolt, Cannonade, and Land Destruction to buy time. So let's go with it. I like it. Looks good to me. Yeah, I'm going to keep this hand. This hand's great. We have a lot of good draws in the deck. And we have a turn two Bonders ornament here. If they pass with blue blue up, I'm probably not going to jam ornament. Bolt. Bolt is good. I think I just lead Wild Growth. Gives me more green mana to play multiple green spells next turn. Wow, they're cycling for land, so they're land light. So that's good to know. So now I can go Forest, play both of these, play Bonders Runner, and play Lightning Bolt. Wow, I can just do like pretty much everything. This is actually nuts. So let's go Land, and then let's go Wild Growth here. Utopia Sprawl here named Red. Three mana, Bonders Ornament, Lightning Bolt right now, just so I don't get ninja'd or anything. Pass. Now, Blue Black has a hard time answering Bonders Ornament once it's resolved. I have a bunch of mana. I can start drawing extra cards. This card is just nuts. This is the best Bonders Ornament deck, too, other than Tron, too. So, we are definitely pretty reliant on this card. One top, one bottom, and Terramorphic Expanse. Interesting. I suppose I could just draw a card right now. I guess I'm playing Wild Growth though. There's no reason not to, right? I guess I separate these out. I guess I'll just play land and then go one, two, three, Wild Growth. I guess this cuts me off of red mana doing it this way. Maybe this wasn't perfect, but it's unlikely to be relevant. Yeah, it was not. I just wanted to play land first so I could separate these out more because sometimes they play, uh, what's the name of that card? It's three mana instant, return target permanent to its owner's hand, its controller discards a card. Okay, so they play a 5-5. Five, five. They don't have counterspell up this turn. Cannonade. Sure. Let's just go draw. Other land is not going to do it. I mean, I'm not like dead to that yet. I have a lot of good draws left. If they have a counter spell, it's going to be rough, but I have some game here. Okay, there's Dino. Let's see, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. I think I'm just playing Mountain, playing Dino. Thermocarst. Okay. Gain one could be relevant against a 5-5. Five, five. They're floating mana and then they're going to cast down the dino. It's good. But now they don't have a black source for future dinos I draw. And I can start drawing more cards with Bonders Ornament if I don't have any gas. If they play like a fairy or something, I'll just probably end up turn cannonade. Okay, they're not. Another cannonade. Okay. Let's draw, and pass. They definitely need to draw something else, and they could have another counter spell for, or a counter spell. They haven't even played one yet. The gain one, if that's relevant, if I go to one and win the game, that's pretty sick on the Thermocars gain one. <laughs> okay. There's Highland Forest. Doesn't really do anything. Draw. Okay. Pretty flooded here. 
We have potentially one more turn. I can play two cannonades here. Ponder. If they went like end of turn spell stutter, I could have cannonaded. But I have to draw something next turn and resolve it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I think they got this game. Thought I was going to be able to get there, but it's not looking good. They did not shuffle on Ponder, so that's a bad sign for me. Boarding party. That's a good start. Three, four, five, six. Let's just lead on this. Packmate. Okay, that's not great. Sprawl here named Red. Are they going to counter this? Yeah. Okay. don't have many outs here. Thermokarst does not do it. Alright, we die to Angler. That was rough. I still don't hate this side we're playing. They probably only have like one or two Anglers in the deck. I think Candidate is going to be good versus a lot of their draws. I like having three of those. Just good against Ninja, all their small fairies, spells that are... Yeah, I mean, this looks good. I don't think I want the Arbor Elf, so maybe on the play they're they're better. They're just so bad with Cannonade. Let's run it. Hmm. This is a mulligan. Just one land and no acceleration. Hmm. This hand's bad too. Maybe in with seven. This is gonna be rough. It's mulligan. Let's go to five. Okay, have to keep this. Keep put back a dino. And one bonders ornament or boarding party? I think boarding party actually. I'd rather just like start jamming bonders ornaments and just try to resolve at least the second one rather than hope to get up to six mana. It's going to be rough on five here, and drawing a seven drop is not good. Basically have to draw an untapped land. All right. Opponent looks a little land light here. Preordain? Oh, fairies here. Okay. I'll let the scry happen, and then I'll just bolt this now. Top, top. All right, well, hopefully they have like a ninja stuck in their hand. Seven drop into six drop, not good. I mean, I did side out some of my acceleration. So like I said, our deck's pretty clunky and we're on five. So yeah, looking pretty bad here. This is, if this just gets spells that are sprite, yeah. Just draws did not work out for us this game. Maybe I can come back with a candidate or something, but probably just going to get ninja here. Yeah, this is brutal. I think this matchup's not terrible for us. We just had a bad draw here. Like I said, we can still win this potentially. Although it's not looking great, that resolving is a really good sign. Now maybe I can draw like runner, runner lands, start casting cascade spells. Wolf into land if it resolves. That'd be crazy. I suppose they do not have counterspell, at least last turn, or they would have countered this. Blue, black for angler. Okay. That's going to be tough. Pyroblast. Okay, well, they can spell flutter this, so that's not good. I still need to draw land next turn. And I cannot Pyroblast into Spell Thudder, so that's looking sketchy. If I draw a land, I don't even have Pyroblast up to protect this boarding party, so that's rough too. I just don't see us winning. They've drawn three cards off Ninja now. What I can do is I can actually, I think I'm actually going to do it. I'm going to go for an end of turn Pyroblast, and then they'll Spell Thudder it. And then if I draw a land, I can Boarding Party into Cannonade and deal with their board. At least that's the idea. I mean, they might have another Spell Setter, but 
There's nothing I can do. Draw just didn't work out here. One, two, seven, eight, nine. Oh, it's just lethal. Just draw a card for fun. All right, they got it. It's two Gs. Rough five there. Bad way to go. Oh, and one. Go to round two. I'll see you there. All right, welcome to round two. We are on the draw because we're super unlucky. But um, I'll keep this hand. This hand is great. This hand is fantastic. I'll probably just lead Arbor Elf against another blue deck. Let's see what we're up against. Blue red or blue black fairies or mono blue. We don't know yet. I'll just lead Elf. If this gets killed, then I don't get to play a three drop next turn. But if it survives, I get to do more stuff. Ninja. Let's see. Looks like I'm getting turn two ninja. No. Maybe they have a spell stutter sprite here. I could somewhat play around that and just play Bonder's Ornament first. But then that might get countered too. I think I'm not supposed to do that. I think I'm just supposed to go Wild Growth here. If they have spell stutter, they're going to bite almost assuredly. Yeah. And then I just need to go Utopia Sprawl here, name red. And I guess I could attack. I don't think it's worth it. Okay, they're blue red. Blue red, blue black fade, these decks are good. Now if they have Counterspell, I'm like super wrecked here. Let's just go Sprawl here. Maybe they're scared of that. Add red mana. Now let's just try to play a Bonders Ornament. If they don't have actual Counterspell, then I can start drawing cards with this. They do. All right. I'm in a really bad spot, but... I still do have good draws in Dino or Boarding Party here. Ninja. Yeah, I felt like they had Ninja last turn. They just chose to leave up Counterspell. I think I was still supposed to jam, though. Can't always play scared. All right. Bolt my Arbor Elf. Okay. Boarding Party. Boarding party? These draws are not looking great. <laughs> I don't think it's anything I do. I, th I think like I've just played against two really solid blue fairy decks um, and our draws just haven't been stellar. We just are getting kind of wrecked. This, this matchup is certainly winnable though. Spell Stutter can be bad in this matchup. I'm going to do the same sideboard plan. I think Cannonade is really good, especially versus Blue Red. It's even better against Blue Red than Blue Black. So I'm going to do the same sideboard plan. Okay, Dino's the best possible draw. I mean, they can counter it, but hopefully Boarding Party? Thermal Karst, okay. That means most likely that... My dino can't get scredded. So that's good. Wow. Just re everything resolves? That's surprising. Do they have any way to bounce this? Like snap or something? Maybe not. No red source. Wow. That's bad for them. Augur. They played a land first. They missed on Augur. Okay. I wonder if this is... I don't want to say my blue red fairy deck but the deck i kind of brewed up blue red fairies with spire golem i wonder if they're playing my list i've seen a fair amount of people playing it i think i'm supposed to just asimov an island keep them down so they don't go like island or mountain scred this it's a little bit weird but i think it's correct just acid moss this Pass the turn. 
just feels good to be able to get a dual end. Are they going to just play a spell setter spray here? No. Definitely not attacking. Again, I still have a lot of good draws, and I have seven more Cascaders. Yeah, there's Spire Golem. Okay. There's Boarding Party. Sweet. Three, four, five, six. Boarding Party into Pac-Mate. Yep. Nice. You'd love to see it. Draw, land, okay. Pac-Mate's actually good though. Let's see, what do I want to attack with? Just Boarding Party, I think. They can like double block it, but I guess they can block here and here. That's not good for me. Then I'm just trading Boarding Party for Spire Golem. I don't know if I want to do that. I'd rather wait to draw like a Lightning Bolt or something. I would literally just be trading this for this. I don't think that's good enough. Let's just wait. The pro oh, they're, okay, now they can scred my dino. Yeah, looking bad now. That's definitely what's happening, yeah. Now I need to have another good draw, like another dino or boarding party. No ninja? They have two cards left. Don't do it. Okay, nice. I'm at nine, though. Okay. You love to see it. Into Lightning Bolt. I think I just bolt the ninja, and then I can just attack with all. Oh, I guess this just gets Spell Setter Sprited. I mean, I was supposed to probably play Bolt. Let's see. I wonder if I still... I could attack with just both boarding parties. And they can trade for one. Yeah. I'll keep pack, uh, pack mate back to block Ninja. I don't think I can just go for an all-out attack. I don't think that's right. I wonder if they'll just take here and try to win. I think I go going for attack with both there is, is correct. I can't block their flyers anyway. I wonder if they have a bolt or a scred or something. Alright, I'm getting hit for four. They have to block one of my creatures. Another spire golem. Dino? Wild growth. Looks like we're not going to get there. They have lethal in the air. So why don't I just attack with all? Hope they do some extra blocking. Because if they go block, block, block. Well, they can just block Pac-Mate, Spire Golem on Pac-Mate to have it survive and then still have lethal. Then I don't actually have a lightning bolt. Yeah. I wonder if I was supposed to attack with Pac-Mate, but then they draw a card. It just seems bad. All right, they got us. That was actually close. Let's do like the same sideboard plan like I was saying. Definitely want these. I think I can just do this. Acid Moss costing more mana is not even necessarily that big of a downside. Could just play like 3-3. Three, three. This actually does help me ramp though. Yeah, let's just go with this. I don't think I want Weather the Storm in this matchup. I don't think that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I'm just supposed to be cannonading Pyroblast. Let's see if we can draw some of those. Let's go game two. All right, game two. Can we get there? We're on the play. His hand is not great, but I think I'm supposed to keep. If we draw any land, we can get to these Bonder ornaments and then start Acid Mossing. And I have a Bolt and red and green mana. So it's not like the best hand by any means, but I'm going to keep it. Just play Mountain first. 
And then I can just, yeah, bolt this end of turn. Perfect. Let the scry resolve and then we'll bolt it. Could change their scry like for a ninja or something. One top, one bottom. It's easy lightning bolt right now. Land. Okay, I gotta have to draw land. <laughs> Please, deck. Okay. I said I had to draw land. It was a tap land, but it's better than not drawing the land. It'll be interesting if they end up turn spell setters right here. They don't. I wonder if I should just go thermal cars here. I mean, I feel like a bonder tournament is just not going to resolve. I feel like an Acid Moss is not going to resolve either, but maybe I'm supposed to play that. Pretty close between Thermocars and Acid Moss. I think I'm just going to go with Thermocars because it's actually the worst one. And uh, if they have a counter spell, they might counter this. If it resolves, that's fine too. Um, just lead with my worst card there when I think they're just going to counter it. They're not doing anything, so it's very likely they have counter spell. Yeah, they're just choosing not to. All right, now they might go for Ninja, and then that might give me an opportunity to resolve for a Bonder Tournament. We got lucky to draw lands there. Not exactly in the perfect order, but I'll take it. At least we're in this game. Ninja? Yeah. That was like the most obvious Ninja ever. I don't think that deck plays four Spike, so... It's funny, but I might even want to resolve an Acid Moss rather than a Bonder Tournament. It's pretty close. Let's see what we draw. It's wild growth. All right, well, let's lead wild growth. Hope they don't annul it. If they do, they do. I feel like I'm supposed to acid moss here. I know they get to keep ninjing, but that's true regardless. I want to just keep killing their lands. This ramps me too, so I think that's the line. They have a lot of cards in hand, but we're way ahead on mana. So now I can play Bonder's Ornament. Yeah, I'm going to lead Bonder's Ornament. If they just play Counterspell, I get to Acid Moss the Fjord. I think I just go for Acid Moss here anyway. They might just have spells that are only. And then I can start drawing cards. Definitely was supposed to play land there before, but I just didn't. They can play a spell setter and then ninja again. That would be tough to beat, but I could always draw a cannonade. I have two chances to draw that through my draw step and bonders ornament. Feeling like they're going to ninja again here. Yep. Okay, cannonade one time. Please, deck. I have three. At three cannonades. Cannonade? I have, like I said, I have two chances. Oh wow. Crimson Fleet? Okay. Let's start by drawing a card. Brutal. Now they now they can just draw like counter spells. And I'm taking four a turn as well. Like, don't think I'm going to be able to resolve Cannonade now. That was my opportunity, and I missed. I think I am supposed to Lightning Bolt the Fairies here like I did. You just don't usually want to let them untap with even their one drop. Feels kind of bad, but I think, like, playing Blue-Red a lot, when they do that, it can be pretty annoying. And... If they were to let you untap, then you can like counter the bolt with spell fetter and do some tricky stuff where it's usually better just to play around that by bolting when they're tapped out on turn one. All right, they're going mountain and are they just gonna braid? Oh, they got island, okay, makes sense. So they're just leaving up counter spell for sure. 
The good news is that at least candidates an interest uh, an instant. If I do draw it, I can play it like on their end step and then maybe draw a second one. I kind of do need to draw double candidate here. And I don't <laughs> think that's very likely. I suppose I could also draw a lightning bolt. Wow, they're tapping out of counterspell? That is so greedy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can draw two extra cards, but I can actually draw two extra cards and they oh they might have Hydro Blast. Yeah. Alright, well I mean I still have to go for that now. So I, I'm drawing a card first. Because I could draw a Pyroblast or another Cannonade here. All right, let's just go for it now. I feel like I'm gonna get Hydro Blasted here for sure. Yeah. Okay, I can draw another card end of turn. That's all I can do. I won't have any more mana. And I just play a land. They're a big fan of the channel. All right. <laughs> I said thanks and they get to crush me while I'm recording. <laughs> Nice to meet uh, somebody who likes the channel. Makes this loss sting a little bit less. We can still draw two more candidates, but they're going to have multiple counter spells up. There's no chance here. They've drawn so many cards. We really don't don't have a chance. All right, let's go draw. Wild growth. Not gonna do it. Bolt. Okay. I'll just lead wild growth because it's free. Are they going to spell stutter it? <laughs> they said I was luck top, top decking the fetches. I mean, yeah, maybe, but they they uh, uh, did pretty well. I think. I don't think it, I don't think it was necessarily luck that they crushed this game. That deck is really good. Actually, this this matchup's not terrible for me. But now this like pack mate's just going to get counterspelled. I think I'm supposed to still go for it. And then all I have is a bolt left. I have to just go for this. It can block a ninja. It's just gonna get countered though. Oh wow, it resolved? They're gonna try to bolt it? All right. Yeah, this is pack mates not long for this world. And then they have lethal. Maybe they, yeah. I had to hope they try to play something there. Wow, they're gonna just go to attacks? Oh, lightning or scred, yeah. Try to bolt this and then concede. O2 oh, for us. I think this deck is actually very good. Just not really um, getting there against the fairies decks in those two matches. I mean, variance is definitely a thing. Those decks are, are really good as well. Even if we had, let's say, a 55% win, win uh, percentage versus those decks, like it's so easy to lose two coin flips in a row. Um, our opponents both played pretty well. Our draws weren't spectacular. You can't get too upset when you lose. I mean, it's certainly bound to happen. All right, we're in the O2 bracket now. I'm going to keep playing for now. I'm going to snap peep this one land hand. 
because we actually have a ton of mana sources. If we draw a land, we can turn to land destruction. Keep. See if we're out against the mirror. No. Basic island. Into fairy. Okay. So I don't like this because you should just play a snow island here because like then I don't know like are they some weird blue red snow deck but now I know that they're mono blue. So three fairy decks in a row, huh? Definitely just lead Arbor. Another land is the best possible draw. So we can have a good turn two. I mean, we could get spell fettered, but we might be fine if we do. Because we can play a million spells here. Like, I'm going to lead Wild Growth, I think. And then if they have a spell stutter, that should draw the spell stutter out of their hand. Because there's that they should be scared of us making a bunch of mana. If this Yeah, it's not gonna resolve. I'm actually fine with that though. Oh wait, they didn't attack with Miscreant? That's weird. So now I just go wild growth. Wait, no, 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 no. Cancel. So now I can Utopia Sprawl name red, untap it, then tap, add two mana, play Wild Growth, and Lightning Bolt this. Do I want a Lightning Bolt right now? I think it's worth it. I can resolve it. I don't really want this to get bounced with Ninja. So let's do it. Sprawl name red. Untap this. I think they should have attacked with Miscreant. It's not necessarily that great, but I think they should have done it. I'm just going to stack my stuff up here and lightning bolt this. I'm going to go with the same sideboard plan. I might even side out like more land destruction if I can. Leave the Arbor Elves in against Mono Blue. They might bring in a couple gut shots, but they're not going to have as much removal for my Arbor Elves. Maybe I'm just never supposed to side out Arbor Elf, but um, it's worked out well for me in the past, honestly. Just didn't quite work out in those first two matches. All right. I have seven mana, so I can play both of my things. Three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, that's good. Suppose I just lead Thermokarst. It's not a snow in, so I do not gain one life. But it's just not relevant usually. It actually did buy us one turn against that Gurmag Angler, which is pretty funny. If this resolves, if they, if they float one mana, I'm just going to go to main two. Brainstorm. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going to get to double land destruction them here. They could have four spike, but I'm not going to play around it. And I guess they should have just tapped this land to Brainstorm. Yeah, okay. Sweet. Just get to play an Acid Moss here. Take them down to one mana. Hopefully they have a bunch of Spire Golems in hand. And we're out of gas, but they're on one mana. We have eight mana. And another Arbor Elf in hand. So this is looking good. They have another land. Okay. Hey, no Ninja is good for me. I don't even want to trade here. I guess I do. I think I'll just attack. It makes ninjas they draw worse. In the future, they're probably not even a block. Yeah. I think I'm supposed to just play Arboril. I know they can spell fetter it, but I mean, what else am I doing? Okay. I have all the mana. I just need a draw engine, either Bonders Ornament, I need my Cascaders, I need my Wolves. I'm not naturally drawing Wolf that much this league so far. Okay, there's Boarding Party, nice. Let's just tap like this. They can't counter both of these spells. Well, our Elf doesn't do much, so they'll probably just counterspell the Boarding Party, and I'll attack for two. Do they not have? No, they do. Oh, frantic inventory? Sure. Now I attack for eight. 
how the boarding party resolved, that's really bad for them because they can't really snap it. I mean, they, they can, but then I get another Cascade and it has haste. So yeah, it's looking good for me here. Even though the land destruction was decent this game, I think overall it's not great against that deck. They just have so many cheap, like one drop threats that um, like killing one of their lands is not actually that good in this matchup in general. Okay, they just concede. Bolt into Acid Moss, into Pac-Mate, into Bolt. All right, th that was good draws there, Jesus. Okay, so I think what we're doing is actually this. I don't hate this. Don't know if we can board out all of it. I could leave in just like two Acid Mosses at least because it, it ramps me. Alternatively, I can bring in some number of Weather the Storms, but generally, I think it's not going to be that great. It only comes down if it's a racing situation. I don't think I can bring in Commodore or uh, Shrek, as I've seen some people call it on Twitter. <laughs> um, I think two Acid Moss is fine. It still ramps me. Taking them down a mana is relevant. Um, but I think overall, the land destruction here is not good. I know it's awkward to have Arbor Elf and Cannonade, like I was saying, but I think in this matchup, Mono Blue specifically, I think it's worth it. I just need to be faster. They're really low to the ground, and I think this land destruction is pretty bad overall. I could have two Weather the Storm over the Acid Mosses, but like I said, at least it ramps me. So four mana rampant growth, take them down one mana is reasonable. But I think three mana stone rain them is not reasonable. All right, this hand's great. I'm not going to play around gut shot, I don't think. I'm just going to lead Arbor Elf. It has the highest upside. This hand is great, though. These wolves should be really good. Packmate, let's go. One thing I do like about playing Pawns and decks is that the leagues go pretty quick, even if you lose. Yeah, I think I like Arbor Elf here. We just want to draw lands, pretty much. And drawing Candidate is actually not bad. It's just so good against that deck. No one drop from the opponent. Interesting. Brainstorm? I don't like Brainstorm in that deck. It's like you don't really have Shuffles. Isn't Ponder just so much better? Like, what if you're in a situation where you, like, want to keep a one land Brainstorm hand? That's so much worse than one land Ponder. Like, Brainstorm's not even that much better in the late game. Yeah, you can, like, turn one Delver, turn two Upkeep, Brainstorm, flip Delver, but that's generally not even a good play anyway. I, I don't know. I guess you can consistently flip Delver with Brainstorm. It just seems so much worse to me. Okay, I guess, yeah, see, I guess they can flip Delver here, but, like, is it even that good? I can even just bolt the Delver. I don't like the play from the opponent. Well, not the play necessarily. Their end of turn brainstorm is probably fine, but I wonder if they just are playing like more than eight cantrips. I thought about doing that in the deck too. Like, I guess if you're playing four preordain, four ponder, and like two or three brainstorm, that's fine. But uh, otherwise, I don't think it's good. Okay. I do want to bolt the Delver right now because I know it's going to flip, and if they untap, they can protect it. Don't want that to happen. So, I have to play Highland. If I'm playing Highland, I can go play Highland Forest, Wild Growth it, untap it, bolt, and that's all I can do. Alternatively, I could just resolve a Packmate. That's pretty close. Again, I do really want to kill this Delver. Resolving a Packmate, though, is it's pretty good as well. I think killing Delver is actually better. I'm gonna do it. It also gets my tap land into play, which is uh, 
not irrelevant. I guess I'll just wild growth up this land. I think that's fine. And these new duels are so sick. You can untap them with Arbor Elf. And I'll just bolt this. And pass the turn. So this is actually a good time if they just don't play anything or leave up blue blue. I'm probably not going to just run out Pac-Mate. But now what I can do is I can just um, foretell both of these. I did draw Wild Rose, so I think I'm going to try to play that. I think I'm just going to go land, try to try to play Wild Growth. If this gets spells better, then I can play Pac-Mate. But now, let's see, I have seven mana. I think I'm just going to foretell both these Pac-Mates. It's a little bit awkward for sure, but it's good against their counter spells. I think then they have to keep leaving up counter spell. Like if I if if they have Counterspell in hand, which they almost certainly do, they didn't play anything, then they want me to play Pac-Mate. So by me just foretelling both, makes them next turn, they're like, oh, do I have to leave up Counterspell again? They probably do. So I like this line. I think I'll just lead by attacking, actually. It's weird, but it's what I'm going to do. Don't care too much if this Arbor Elf dies now, because I might have to Cannonade at some point anyway. And then let's just go foretell this and foretell this. Pass. Can you can you stifle a foretell? I think you can. All right, they did get the frantic inventory, so that's good for them. But it's still just one mana draw card at this point. And I. Was I'm still pretty confident that they had Counterspell, so I like the, the Foretell play here. All right, let's just start jamming. Can I at least resolve one of these here? Hmm, wow, now I'm in a just boarding party. Definitely just jam boarding party, play around Force Spike. It's funny if I hit like a wild growth or utopia sprawl. See, this is wrong also. You should always counterspell. First, let the cascade trigger resolve, see what it is, and then determine what you want to counter. I mean, they would have countered the boarding party there. Yeah, that's true. But what if that was a pack mate or something? Maybe they are like, hmm, I actually have to counter pack mate rather than boarding party. Or what if it was a mole drifter that they weren't expecting or something? All right, they get to draw two. That's good. But I'm still feeling okay now. I'm kind of shocked that they let the Pac-Mate resolve when they had Counterspell. I guess they just think like my Spire Golem can handle that. It's kind of weird. Maybe they just commit a bunch to the board and then I can cannonade. I can attack and get a good cannonade or something. They choose to not shuffle, okay. I'm gonna just try to jam pack mate here. Yeah, they're just letting these resolve. That's shocking. I mean, we're not drawing good cards, but. I'll just attack with this, pass. We just wanna keep drawing our Cascaders at this point. Yeah, they didn't want to block even because they don't want us to just like, they don't want to block and then just get this lightning bolted. So if they weren't going to block, they should have attacked. Uh, maybe not because I have these Arbor Elves. Wow, draw three. That's where their card gets real good. Hmm, I wonder if they're playing like Hugger and Bolas too. I've thought about that for Mono Blue. It could be a sick build to play like more cantrips, play frantic inventories play like a higher spell count, and then go down on the fairy package and play Augur Bolas in mono blue. It's an interesting concept. Okay, double cannonade. That's something. I don't think there's a rush on this double cannonade. I can wait. Let's just attack with these. 
if they block, I could consider cannonading. Because then I trade both my Arbor Elves for their board. I don't think I need to yet. I think I can wait on it. I also have to remember I only have one red source right now. So if I want to play multiple candidates, I'm going to have to use Arbor Elf to untap it. Which could be relevant. I may want to do that like... I may want to float double red before casting cannonade. Oh, is this frantic inventory draw four? Oh, wow. It's spell stutter sprite. I think I'm going for cannonade now. Oh, I lose a pack mate also. So then I kill their board and my board is pack mate and I have another cannonade in hand. I mean, alternate, otherwise they're going to ninja me. And then this way they won't be able to ninja me. Okay, I'll let this resolve. And then I'll go add a bunch of mana. I'll just cannonade now. So I'm kind of trading like four for three. Oh, dispel. Okay, well I still get to cannonade. So let Dispel resolve, and then Cannonade again. So again, then my board is just Pac-Mate versus their nothing. Which I think is better for me. Doesn't feel great, but... I don't know. This Pac-Mate's kind of tough for them to deal with. Miscreant, okay. I feel like they have a Ninja in hand. Another Miscreant? I was not expecting that with the way they played that last turn. Okay, I thought that was going to be a third miscreant. I was like, come on. Could have been a little too hasty, but I wanted to try to resolve those candidates. And they have Dispel in the deck? That's crazy to me. Now if they have Ninja, I'm just like pretty boned. Because they get to return a, a miscreant, draw a card off Ninja, replay miscreant, draw another card. All while hitting me for four. They're chumping. Interesting. I would not have walked there. I'm gonna be sh wow. Probably a top deck. They have ninja. Maybe they just have a split of ponder and brainstorm. No ninja. That is good for me. I wonder if they boarded out some ninjas. All right, let's attack. I feel like they they might chump. They're playing this game very interestingly. Um, sure. I mean, I'll just play this. If they have spells that are they they have it. Just hold this land. Make them scared of like either a cannonade or a bolt or something. They should attack with all. Yeah, they do. No ninja still. Okay. They're at 10. Okay, Bonders Ornament. Ornament is great. I'm going to attack with Pac-Mate. And then play a Bonders. Definitely going to try to jam. Should not have played the land. I wasn't planning to, I kind of just did it automatically. Counter, okay. They're at seven, we're at 15. If they draw ninja, it's incredibly bad for us. They also have cantrips they can draw. That may have been a misclick, no attack. Are they gonna try to triple block? If they do, I think I'm going for Pyroblast on one of their things. They're going for it? Wow. I'm going for it. They have to use a counter spell and I'm still afraid. Yeah. Okay, this is fine. I mean, I have seven Cascade spells left in the deck still out of 40 cards. That's a lot.
that's like what 17 percent or 15 it's a little higher than 15 percent what is it i have seven left right yeah 17 percent wow spire golem that's good so they pre top topped and then spire golem i wonder if their next card is a cantrip or a spire golem man our draws have not been that great Delver, okay. They must have just kept these two cards. What's their last card? Is it a land or is it another counterspell? We just need to start drawing Cascaders. We're not under that much pressure yet. Wow. Delver is not that likely to flip in these decks. They often only have like 18 to 20 spells, but of course they'll probably flip right here. Yep. <laughs> yep. That's kind of how this league has gone so far. All right. This is this is game two, right? And we got the first one when we played a bunch of land destruction. They know about cannonades, but that's fine. Did I forget about game two and this is game three? No, I think this is game two. Is there a way to check that? Stage one, match three. Oh, game number. It doesn't tell me if it's game one, two, or three, though. I mean, I guess you're not supposed to forget what game you're in. <laughs> All right, they're scrying a bunch. I haven't really been paying attention. They didn't shuffle and ponder. They went one top, one bottom. They hit for five down to eight. And I'm in trouble. Dino? Man, just drew land, land, sprawl here. It's not going to do it. Now I don't really have many outs in this game. They can hit for five, six, hit me down to two. I'm fine to just F6, and I don't think I'm really like hiding information if I, I don't F6. I'd rather just go faster. Okay, that was just a bad turn of draws there. All right, that was game two. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Ooh. I didn't think about this, but I like it. I don't like land destruction at all versus them. And Ancient Grudge kills Fire Golem, and they can't really counter it. It is bad to cascade into it, but having an answer to Spire Golem seems just like a clean answer that almost can't be countered because it has one mana flashback. Let's go. Let's be the control deck. I should have done that at first. Didn't think about it in time. Just saw it right there. This is a keep. This hand's actually pretty sick. Because I can just go turn one Highland Forest. And then turn two, I can either Lightning Bolt or Foretell Pack. Pack mate, let's go. It's my Wolf Pack. I'm going to play a one drop? No. Okay. Well, I'm foretelling Packmate for sure. Maybe I'll get a good cannonade at some point. Packmate is so nice with these type of draws because like it gives me something to spend my mana on on turn two. And it's something that I can play for two mana next turn that cannot be spell centered. It's really nice. I'm liking the Packmate a lot. Alright, brainstorm. What'd they do with the preordain? They went preordain one bottom, one top on the first one. And then they drew Brainstorm and they're casting it right now. Interesting. I feel like they do not have four spike. Maybe they're playing like Brainstorms instead of four spikes. They're just playing like 10 cantrips. That's actually a pretty good way to go, I think. Might not be great in certain matchups when you don't really have time, but it seems pretty good here. They ponder, didn't shuffle, okay, land. I have draw for turn and draw for pack. Red Blast, okay, I'm still just casting this. I can resolve it right now, draw a card, I really want to hit a land. Land is good though. Right. Not ideal, but 
We have seven good spells in hand. So if we draw lands at any point, we have a lot of gas. They've just been cantripping like crazy. Delver. And they're just going to pass with Counterspell up. This might work out well for me. Land. Six drop. All right, I'm just going to start by attacking. And then I'm going to try to play Wild Growth. If they spell better, I can bolt the spell better with the trigger on the stack. If they counter spell, I can Red Blast. Or I can just let the Wild Growth go and then like bolt the Delver or something. We'll just see what happens. I'm definitely going to go for Wild Growth here. I need to uh, progress my mana. Let's go Wild Growth here. So again, if this if they go for spell fetter, which I think they will, yeah. So this is the trick for those that don't know. This comes in, trigger on the stack, then I go lightning bolt here, and then this says counter target spell or with X convert with converted mana cost X or less, where X is the number of fairies you control. But they control zero fairies right now. So then this will resolve. So it's a way to use a removal spell to counter a spell setter sprite if they don't have other fairies. If you try to play a one drop and they have another fairy, it's that trick's not going to work. So you have to be careful of that. Frantic inventory right now, because they knew the card on Ponder. Interesting. They were trying to flip Delver. Sure. I still have a candidate here. Bind the monsters, they take three. I mean, bind the monsters on a pack mate, I'm fine with that. Wow, and they're tapping out? Incredible. I feel like I do want to answer this Delver while I can. I can go like, foretell pack mate, bolt Delver. I like that. And they went one bottom, one top. Land is perfect. So I can resolve a pack mate. That might just be best. They went one bottom, one top, so they could not guarantee flip this Delver. Do I want to just go Bolt plus Fortel? Gets the Delver off the board. You know what? I think that's actually better. Just Bolt this now. I'm scared of like that resolving. And then this way, I Fortel this. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that because I have double cannonade in hand, but I get to leave up Red Blast for anything that I care about. Spire Golem. Oh, that's a good one. Ponder, I let, I let that resolve for sure. And then I go Packmate with Red Blast up. So I should be able to resolve Packmate. And then I'm just two mana away from this boarding party. Don't want to draw Arbor Elf. Guess it's fine if I do. Okay. That's good. Brainstorm. Sure. Maybe I can get to the point for a double candidate here or draw. If I draw Ancient Grudge off the top, please, one time. That would be so sick. Another Spire Golem? No. Okay. Another cannonade, wow. Let's just cast another wolf. Arbor, okay. Well, I can boarding party next turn. I don't care too much about these fire golems yet. I mean, if they ninja me, that's bad, but I can always go to red blast it. Fairy seer. I do not try to red blast this. I'd rather try to resolve this boarding party with this red blast. I know I only have six mana, but if I draw a land, I'll be able to protect the boarding party with the red blast. And I'm also pretty close to uh, double cannonading here. Which could actually be pretty sick. They're down to one card in hand. Please let me draw an untapped land. I have a lot of outs. They're attacking with one Spire Golem. Okay.
Dino. All right, well, I just have to jam boarding party, right? Oh no, I put this on a mountain. That was a big mistake. I just realized when I tried to, when I went to untap it. Wow. One, two, three, four, five mana. <laughs> this is so bad for me. Oh man, this is terrible. Because now if I cannonade, I also kill my Arbor Elf, which is huge. I need my Arbor Elf. And my pack mate will die too. There's just no way I can do that. I could just not attack here. Man, that's a bad mistake. I mean, I haven't played this version of the deck too much, but I should have thought about that interaction. Should never put these on a, an actual mountain, which I've been doing all league. Okay, they're just attacking for two. Land, another Pyroblast, and another Pyroblast is reasonable. It's not great though. I'm just gonna pass. Getting clocked by a Spire Golem here. Oh no, not like this. Now they're attacking for four. All right, do I go for an end of turn Pyroblast on anything? I guess I can end of turn Pyroblast to bind the monsters now. I think I'm supposed to do that just because I'm pretty mana tight. It's not great. Maybe I was supposed to do that earlier, but yeah, like I said, I'm just so tight on mana. Okay, they're down to one card. I think I have to try to draw land and double cannonade here. Their last card could easily be Counterspell. I can wait one more turn. I can just counter this too to be mana efficient. Let's do it. Let's see if their last card is the Counterspell and if they bite, then I can Wrath the board which would be real good for me. Putting the wild growth on the mountain was a huge mistake. If you saw that beforehand and be honest, good, good for you. But that was a tough one. Uh, that's something that like definitely comes from ex with experience from playing the deck through a couple matches. Okay. I'm at 11. They have six, seven, eight power. I think I'm just going for boarding party here and I could go for double cannonade next turn. Yeah, I like this. So let's just go for cannonade or for boarding party, not cannonade. Counterspelling it now, sure. Utopia Sprawl. Okay, they have zero cards. So I'll put this here, name red. I didn't want to attack first because if this resolved, I wanted to be able to attack with it. Now let's attack with both pack mates. And we'll see what they draw. If they draw like a cantrip and then hold a card in their hand, it's bad for me. I suppose this attack is still fine. I mean, obviously that trade's not good, but I get in for three damage and I'm planning to double cannonade anyway. So I'd rather just get the three damage in. Let's see what they attack with. Maybe just two Spire Golems? Maybe just one. Oh, they're attacking with all. Okay. I have to hope they didn't draw a counter spell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If I draw a land, I can triple cannonade. Wow, Ancient Grudge. Ancient Grudge. That's really good. 
still think I'm going for... I think I'll just start by just attacking and then go for double candidate on their upkeep. It is pretty bad if one of them gets countered, but there's not much I can do about that. Am I just dead if that's the case? I think so. I think if they have counterspell, I'm, I lose. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. Because I can only Ancient Grudge one thing. If I go for Grudge right now... Ooh, maybe I do that and they counter it? I can go for Grudge now. No, that, that's worse. Let's just go for the Double Cannonade on Upkeep and hope it resolves. I think that's best. That's all I can really do. Cannonade. I'm gonna have this one has to resolve, otherwise I lose. Don't do it, opponent. <laughs> oh, no. and I just drew the ancient grudge too. God damn. I could have tried to go for ancient grudge and see if they bit on it. <sighs> oh three did. I have not oh three in in a while. That feels real bad. Um, I don't think I want to play out the rest of the games to try to get fifty play points. I I know this deck is actually good. It was just a rough rough, rough league here. So sorry if you want to see more games of the deck, but I think I'm going to use my time and record another league rather than uh, trying to. Uh, play out the last two in the O3 bracket. It's going to take a long time to get paired. Just not worth it. Sorry for the bad result. I didn't play perfectly. That wild growth mistake was pretty bad. I maybe could have played better in other spots too. I didn't... I, I felt like in the first two matches I played okay. We just got kind of wrecked by fairies. But my name is Max. This is youtube.com slash snapbolt. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to drop from this league. And... Uh, I'm probably just going to play another league and get another, another video going. I have another deck queued up that I want to play. So see you in the next video. Peace.